Hey guys, so for today's video, I created this neutral eyeshadow look cut crease with a pop of pastel. I've been doing so many colorful looks recently, and a lot of you have requested this kind of look just neutral with a pop of color, so that's exactly what we're doing today. I am doing a voiceover for this video because the original audio was so messed up, so here we are. I also wanted to add that this type of cut crease I did for this look with like kind of the swoopy shape is a little challenging and it might be hard for beginners, but I'm going to do my best to walk you guys through it when we get to that step. This eyeshadow look was inspired by a look I created back in 2016. I'll pop a picture up on the screen here. When I knew I wanted to do a pop of pastel, this is the look I thought about and I thought it was so pretty, so I recreated that today. And then for my neutral eyeshadows today, I'm using the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette, and then for the pop of pastel, I'm using Natasha Denona pastel palette. So I'm starting with the shade Hustler on a Sigma E25, and I'm blending that all throughout my crease. And I am wisping out the eyeshadow on the outer edge of my crease, meaning that I'm only applying just a little bit of product out there because I really want the eyeshadow to just kind of flow into my skin. And then on the same brush, I picked up Tabloid using the very tip of the E25, and I used this shade to deepen up the crease even more while still following that kind of swoopy cut crease shape. You don't have to be super precise right now because we are gonna clean this up later with concealer, but you just want that general kind of swoop in the crease. And then I went back to that first shade Hustler and I blended that all over the crease again to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Then I switched to a Sigma E27 and I picked up more tabloid again just to deepen up the crease even more. This E27 is slightly smaller than the E25, so it allows me to be a little bit more precise. And then I wanted my cut crease just to be a little bit deeper, so I picked up one more darker shade. I picked up Active Fool on the same E27. And again, I'm using the very tip of the brush, and I use this to deepen up the crease even more. Now once all that eyeshadow is laid down, it is time to cut the crease. So I took a liquid concealer, I used the Anastasia one, and I picked that up using a Sigma LO5 brush. This is my favorite brush for cut creases because it's nice and small and precise. So I started by placing the concealer in the center of my lid, and then I looked up and around to transfer the concealer kind of into my crease. So I used that as a guide to fill in the whole cut crease. If you have slightly hooded eyes like me, it kind of helps to relax your eyes so you can really see what the shape is going to look like when you're just relaxed and talking and chilling. And again, you don't want this cut crease to be like straight throughout your eye. You want it to have that little swoop at the end. So then after I got that general shape down, I used my finger to tap out the concealer and just pick up any extra product that's laying on my lid. Then I took the shade Buff from the palette on that same LO5 and I used that to set the concealer in place. I recommend using this small brush to get around the top of the cut crease to set the concealer, but once you get to the lid, you can switch to a larger brush. I used a Sigma E54 to set the rest of my lid. And I wanted a mostly matte eyeshadow look today, so I did use a matte for this, but you could totally use like a satin or a shimmer if you'd like. Now to make the cut crease pop just a little bit more, I'm gonna go back to one of the medium tone shades we used. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Tabloid again on that LO5, just on the very, very tip of the brush. And I used a super light hand in very small motions and I placed this shade right above the concealer cut crease. This step isn't necessary, but I like it because it makes the cut crease pop a little bit more. Now for the lower lash line, I picked up more tabloid on a Sigma E21 and I placed that along my entire lower lash line. And then I went back to that lightest shade Hustler on a Sigma E27 and I used that to soften the lower lash line just to blend out that tabloid shade. Oh, 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 
and then I lined my waterline with my favorite gel coal eyeliner from House Labs and then I took more active fool on that Sigma E21 to blend out the black. All right, now the eyeshadow is mostly done and it's time for the pop of pastel. So again, I use the Natasha Denona pastel palette because it's just a current favorite and I literally cannot stop using it. And you can really do any kind of pastel shade you'd like for this look. I just decided to use a minty color because I like how mint kind of pairs with the warm browns. So first I used my Sigma Switch to clean off the LO5 since I've been using that brush a lot during this look. And I picked up the shade Brisk from the pastel palette and I just loaded up that shade in my inner corner and then since I've only used matte shades for this look, I wanted to add just a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner. So I mixed a little bit of Illusion and Mint Frost from the palette and I added those on top of my inner corner to make a pretty soft shimmery mint shade. All right, and that is it for the eyeshadow. I went ahead and popped on my mascara and lashes. For my lashes, I used All Natural from my brand, The Bright Lashes. And this is the final look. I thought it turned out super pretty and it was really fun to do this kind of cut crease because I don't do this style very often. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.